everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Aries. How are you guys, Aries? I hope you're all well. See what's cooking. New love prospects or connections. For Aries. New love prospects or connections. New, new, new. We have the hanged muse. The hanged man. We have the Queen of Materials. Be someone around you checking you out. So someone seeing things from a different perspective. Okay. Could be yourself, but I see the Queen of Materials. So be someone kind of checking you out, seeing things different here. Three of emotion. Someplace in your community, your social circle, someone's checking you out. They're seeing the queen of materials. You look successful, grounded, stable. Okay, so this is a this could be yourself, grounding yourself, kind of looking at things from a different perspective of getting out, meeting someone new. I see that three of emotion. There could be some kind of an event. Someone might be looking to see if you're single or if you're married and maybe wanting to approach you. Hmm. Oops. We have six of voices and we have the tower so there's something happening suddenly here some of you may be taking a trip going to another town vacation it's an energy of um, moving away to a disaster but a lot of times it's an energy of taking the lessons you learned from the past past dating there could be i feel like there's some kind of travel going to another town something may happen suddenly here What's going on here, Aries? Some kind of tower moment, something sudden. Could be an epiphany. And we have the Ace of Materials. Oh, you got an opportunity here. Someone's making you an offer, a communication. This is someone in your social circle, your community, someplace in your town, maybe online dating, social media. Oops, Aries. What does Aries need to know? You love prospects or connections. Who's interested in you, Aries? Oops. Five of inspiration. And we have ten of inspiration. So there's definitely this energy of uh, releasing, ending something with someone who's not reliable, someone who's not pulling their weight for some of you. But it's also an energy of... Um, Doing what's right, taking action. I feel like you got someone here who's looking to see if there's competition, okay, before they make a move. So there's this sudden offer, someone coming in to take action, to fight for what they want. And I do feel it has to do with this you know, Ten of Wands. It's a some kind of release or burden, responsibility. We'll see here. And then we have a single person, Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So this could be yourself, could be another person. But I feel it's an energy of someone checking you out. They're looking at things from a different perspective. Someone's checking you out. You're looking like the queen of materials. Very focused on money. That would be the energy. Your focus is on money, stability. You're looking out for you. Queen of materials looks out for the queen of materials. So, But there's some kind of an epiphany here with this tower see what this is about tell me about this hanged muse who is this let's see if this is it's a pisces energy Ooh, it has to do with emotional fulfillment happiness the future queen of materials oh, too many cards i don't want like 10 queen of materials there we go yeah so it's a little bit of a mystery something is unknown whether you're single whether you're in a relationship someone wants is checking you out in your neighborhood they want to approach some emotional fulfillment happiness but this is someone who doesn't know something here it's a little bit of a mystery yeah someone has a little bit of fear here oh yeah it's an energy of walking away so you got an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces energy. So someone who generally knows what they want. They're not afraid to fight for what they want, but it has to do with this walking away. Someone's looking for a soulmate. So 
And they might be checking you out when you're walking. You walk at night, you might have someone checking you out, but I feel it has to do with this mystery. There's a little bit of a mystery around you. The Queen of Materials can be like that, a little mysterious. Kind of keeping things to yourself, very private, maybe stick to yourself a little bit. Tell me about the six of voices. Yeah, you've got some of this energy of moving away to avoid a disaster. Some of you may be ending something or trying to avoid a disaster. It could be someone who's trying to avoid a disaster. They're trying to find something out to find out if you're single. But this is an energy of someone who's generally very enthusiastic, very charming. This is someone who comes rushing in. But the thing is, it doesn't always last. So you could be walking away from someone like that. Seeing things from a different perspective. It might be yourself. Oh, yeah. Staying strong, being brave. It's taming the beast within yourself. There's some kind of tower moment, some kind of epiphany. It's going to ha Something is happening sudden. Someone's finding the strength. Uh, they're taming the beast that need to rush. So that's a good energy. This is someone leveling up. So uh, definitely someone who's not afraid of competition. They're not afraid of taking action. But I feel there's this energy where they have this epiphany, where they need to tame that that need to rush so it's an energy of take someone taking the time to get to know someone someone's taking the time here because there's some things that they don't know so there's that success there's that ace of swords a truth so there's some kind of victory this is someone who wants victory so they're taming the beast they're not going to come in sudden to rush uh, there's something they want to learn there's more this person needs to know tell me about the five of inspiration yeah, so we have someone manifesting. And someone manifesting information, having all the tools, the information. See, they're being very wise. They're strategizing before they take action. They're trying to avoid conflict. They're looking to see if there's competition, okay? Because this is someone who's unsure. It's a mystery whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship. They don't know. And someone in your community, your social circle, possibly, Online dating, social media. It's an energy of someone walking away, though. Someone who's looking for a soulmate. There's someone here. I don't know. Something to do with walking. Hmm. Tell me about this ten of inspiration. I'll dig into that a little bit more. It's trying to tell me something, something else here. Ten of inspiration. Yeah, so it's an energy of making a choice in love. So, you know, I do feel there's this energy of someone taking action. Uh, it's also someone who's focused very much on the physical. They're taming it. This is someone who's taming that. Taming the beast. Yeah, they have all the tools, the information. It's someone who's mastered all the elements. This is a person who's making a choice, a decision. You may have had someone who manipulated you before, Okay. So I feel like there's definitely obstacles or challenges, but I feel this energy of single. So someone's going to find out the truth that you're actually single. Yeah, you got someone very curious here, but I'm going to tell you, you may have a person here who may not be single. So a little caution there too. It looks like you got a few energies. So someone who doesn't always tell the truth, they don't tell you everything that you need to know, or they just tell you because it's a strategy to manipulate. So tell me about the lovers. Yeah, so it's about cooperation, compromise, two people building each other up here. So I do see it's about two people being responsible. A little bit of baggage, a little bit of burden, and it's about being responsible. It's about doing the right thing. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Yeah, we got two single people here. Yeah, so I feel like you got someone here who maybe, just be careful you got someone. I feel like it's someone who's curious at whether you're single or not. It's like, I feel like, but for others of you, I feel like you got someone who uh, acts single and may not tell you that they're actually not single. So just be careful. I see a couple scenarios. You got someone here who's not single. Uh, there's, there's some kind of secret here. Okay, so you have someone here who's definitely keeping something a secret, keeping something to themselves. Uh, it's also an energy of someone who just wants to stay single. They're just looking for a good time. Uh, but I don't think you're going to go for that energy because I see you very strong, very brave. I see you ending a situation here. You're taming the beast. And taming the beast is an energy um, of someone who's teaching someone how to be treated as well. So there's definitely going to be some empress energy. I feel it coming already. 
Yeah, tell me about the Ace of Swords. Why is this here? Yeah, so it's an energy of releasing something here. Somebody is making some kind of a decision to have success, uh, some kind of judgment. Let's see, what is this judgment? What is this judgment? To release something it's an energy of waiting so i don't feel like you're really waiting for anyone uh, i feel as though you've kind of let go of something you've released someone you've made some kind of a decision to let go um, but it's an energy of abundance it's about waiting for something that's right here yeah you got an opportunity coming your way but i don't see you waiting around aries you're not someone who sits and waits around you do have an opportunity i see three aces so there is something cooking here tell me about the nine of pentacles just be careful of anyone who comes towards you that they're not in some kind of a relationship because sometimes you a person who just wants their own emotional fulfillment they're kind of full of themselves they want you to keep filling their cup okay uh, but they may have a secret but i also see someone here around you who's not sure if you're single or if you're in a relationship so there's definitely a couple of energies. Tell me more about this Nine of Pentacles. What's going on with this person? Yeah, so it's a little caution. Someone's being a little careful what they wish for. So be careful. You got someone who wants to be indulged. So you got a person who just wants to be indulged. So they just want to stay single. Uh, so I feel like that's an energy where it's just an energy of somebody who doesn't pull their weight in a situation. So I see you going off on a new path here. See so you making a choice in love. Yeah, I, I'm not a big, when I see this energy, I'm not a big fan. So somebody who doesn't tell you they're single or they just want to be single, they want to keep everything to themselves. See, they're kind of selfish. They offer one cup, nothing more. They're not going to give you anything, you see. So this is somebody who's either stepping out on a relationship, okay, or they're just full of themselves. This so is somebody who kind of expects um, someone to keep giving, filling their cups while they don't give anything. So I, I'm going to tell you, it looks like you got a couple people. There's someone here who's definitely in that energy. There's chaos. There's conflict. Uh, there's some kind of burden or responsibility. Someone's not responsible. They're not reliable. And that's what I feel. So yeah you're off on a new path i feel it has to do with compatible you got someone here you're probably more compatible with or there's someone here who maybe didn't tell you that they didn't think you were compatible whatever the situation it's somebody who you know it's an energy of caution uh, but it's someone who offers one cup now i do feel like you have and i do feel like it may be related to this person here now i don't know who they are they could be someone who's in the neighborhood around you uh, sometimes a business owner, someone very creative, very theatrical. So someone who rushes in and out, you see. This is, you know, I think you're di you're distancing yourself. You're moving away from this person. It's like you keep moving away. Um, you're staying strong and being brave. I don't think you're interested in this person, but I feel as though they keep coming towards you. They're wanting you to fill their cup. They want you to indulge them. And I don't think you're indulging this person yeah tell me and i feel like you're keeping things to yourself i think you're just kind of you know it's a little bit of fear here and i think you know but i also see another person here who's um you know manifesting information looking to see if there's competition and cure this is someone very curious um looking to see if you're single they may even ask people around you possibly tell me more about the moon why is the moon here Yeah, so it's a, definitely this energy of a little bit of fear, trusting your intuition. So this is a third party. You got someone here who, who will try to put you in a third party or probably already has. So that's just telling you to trust your intuition, okay? There's secrets, mystery, things that are hidden. So this is an energy where you ground yourself and make a decision. You're being very sensible. You're looking at this from a different perspective, okay? Taking a little bit of a pause and looking at this. Uh, I don't think you're, I think you're walking away from this person. I, in fact, I feel like you're distancing yourself. You're moving, um, just really moving away from this person. It's like this is somebody who, 
I don't know what this person's issue is, but I'm going to tell you, they don't plan on sticking around. Uh, they just come in to get what they want. They want to be indulged. They aren't going to tell you the truth. They might even be very manipulative. Tell me about this person here. King of Swords. What's this person's intentions? Yeah, this is someone stable. Their intentions is partnering up, manifesting. Safety, security, financial stability, taking action. So I feel like you've got a couple people who have similar elements in their charts. Uh, I see Sagittarius, Leo. Aries, Libra, or pardon me, uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, okay? So uh, they definitely have, there's a couple people and they have different elements in their chart, but what I feel is that you got someone who's strategizing, thinking, and they're, ma they're manipulative, I feel, but they're manifesting stability. So it's an energy of um, competition and conflict, overcoming some kind of obstacles. It's about somebody who fights for what they want. But I do think you have a choice here, Aries, and I feel as though you know. It's like you, I feel like you know, your intuition's going to tell you. It's, there's definitely secrets, possibly a third party situation. Yeah, you're just, but I do think you got a person who's wanting to connect with you, and I think they don't know if you're single. Uh, they don't know if you have anybody. But it's a little bit of fear that you may not be single. So yeah, there you are. You're being sensible, grounded. You're looking into the future here. See, you want to be happy. You want emotional fulfillment. You're just, I feel like you're just being grounded. You're focused on money. You're not that focused on your love life. Yeah, you're invested in you. You're not really invested in anybody. You have somebody here who's waiting for the right opportunity to communicate something with you. And they are around you. There's some kind of celebration, some kind of an event. Uh, this is someone who generally gets attention, pretty popular, very charismatic and charming. But I don't think you're interested in this person. Because I feel there's somebody who kind of wants to rush in and out. Tell me about this Knight of Wands energy. Yeah, so there's the death card. So it could be a Scorpio, but it's somebody here. It's over, it's done. Yeah, so I do see this energy of moving away to avoid a disaster. You're moving on. You're taming that beast within yourself too. You're being strong and brave. Very nice. Mm -hmm. See, there's a definitely, yeah. This is someone who had other options, rushing in and out between other options, creating chaos and conflict. Okay, competition. You're not competing for anyone's attention. <laughs> No, the Queen of Panic, when you're in that Queen of Materials, you're focused on money. You're not that focused on your love life. You may get out. You may be doing things with friends or going to do things, but you're staying very grounded. You're making, you know, very sensible choices about who you invest in. And you're certainly not investing in this person. Yeah. But I do feel like you got someone around you who has good intentions, and then you have someone here who definitely doesn't, okay? They're just looking for a good time. They'll play here for a good time, not a long time, yeah. So you're letting go of something. You're releasing it. I see truth and success. I see you getting an offer. I see an emotional offer. I see a fresh new start. Yeah, you got someone who's coming in just right here. Somebody with a little Libra in their chart. So this could be this person coming in to take action. So you got a couple people, a little curious here. But be very careful of anyone who comes in because I feel like you got someone who's either curious whether you're single and another person who really isn't going to tell you the truth. They really just want to stay single, okay? Or they might tell you they're single when they're not. Third party situation. A little caution, okay? Yeah, so you got someone who's right, somebody who's um, not right for you. So this is yourself. This is you. You are just right. You're doing everything just right. Okay, so look at that beautiful energy. Yeah, that's your Empress energy, the birth of something new. So you're just kind of staying strong and being brave. There's that tower. You have a lot of power here. So know your strengths, okay? Focus on your strengths. Tell me more about this King of Swords. This person is looking to see if there's competition too. So yeah, it's a cycle ending. This is someone who's trying to figure out how to get things to go in their favor. So they're a little manipulative, possibly, or they're just manifesting information. 
They could be in your community, your social circle. They might be asking people things about you. But I see this energy of walking away, no longer investing. I don't think you're that invested in your love life right now. I see you looking at things from a different perspective. So something has changed here. Yeah. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. Like a landing, things are actually going to go in your favor, yeah. So you got someone making you an offer. They want things to go in their favor. So I do see this connection, this bond between two people. Be careful of, yeah, just make sure someone pulls their weight. You want to have somebody who comes in and send a lot of baggage. You might have a lot of financial responsibilities. Just be careful. I have to be honest, I just, I feel like you've got two scenarios. Um, like I said, someone who's curious at whether you're single or not. And then you have somebody here who may not be single and act single, or they just want to be single. Selfish. This is somebody that's like telling you, be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you're manifesting. Okay? Yeah. So, because you, you've got someone here who's gathering info. They're learning something here. Uh, strategizing. It's a mirroring energy. You may have two people who actually mirror each other. That's why I feel you got two people who kind of mirror each other. It's not you mirroring them. It's they mirror these two people mirror each other. That's what I feel. They're the, they're the same. Okay, very similar. Tell me about this three of wands. This is about two people building each other up. Teamwork, cooperation, compromise. It's about compatibility. Lovers coming together, but you see, you got somebody here who's coming in to take action, just looking for a good time, and then you got someone a little more cooperative. So, give me more on that Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you've got someone who's in their feelings, so you definitely have someone who's in their feelings. Someone is looking for love, but just be careful, someone doesn't use emotional energy to manipulate. I'm just telling you to be cautious, it's telling you to be careful what you wish for, what you're manifesting, okay. Uh, but it could be this person offering one cup, careful what they wish for, very curious. So you have, they're, they're definitely similar, these two energies, they, they have similarities. Uh, but I'll tell you, one thing is different. This person's a little more emotionally mature, a little more emotionally available. They could be just careful what they're manifesting, a little bit cautious, and maybe very private what they reveal uh, until they find out something here. But yeah, somebody who wants to build something. It could be someone you work with. They want to build something here. So, yeah, yeah. So there's some kind of change. So it's about going with the flow, seeing what happens. Yeah, you got someone new. You definitely have someone new. They could have Leo in their chart, but I'm seeing air. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy as well. So I feel like you've got had a few things going on, and I do feel this energy of chaos and conflict competition. Somebody's rushing in and out, create, creating chaos. See, this is somebody who comes in just looking for fun, looking for a good time. So I feel like that's where you're distancing yourself. You're moving on. You're taking the lessons you've learned from the past. But this person could be coming back around, uh, quite possibly. Tell me about the strength. Yeah, so there it is, moving away to avoid a disaster. Some of you might even be moving, relocating, uh, distancing yourself. You may even be traveling in a different social circle. So you're definitely learning. I see events, things happening. I see, you, you know, you got people around you. You've got people around you. There is someone here who doesn't know if you're single or not. See, that Queen of Materials is twice. Someone's curious if you're still single or somebody here wants to be single. And they definitely, there's definitely earth, fire, and air. And, and actually, we've got all three. We got three kings or four kings. We've got three kings. So someone mastering the elements, you see. Very wise. But you got something new, something that's going to make you happy. But just telling you to be cautious. Yeah, protect yourself. Yeah. A little bit in protective mode here. 
I, I think here with this, you know, it is the birth of something new. You're doing it. You know what you want. You're focused on money, career. You're doing what's right for you. But you want someone who comes in just right. You're waiting for this person who comes in just right. But you're not really waiting because I see you getting out, going places, seeing people. I see a lot of positive news, going to events, maybe even traveling, going to other communities. Now, you may have somebody who's at a distance or lives in another community could be something long distance but I really I'm not really seeing that actually am I seeing the world here no so it's definitely not somebody too far away it's someone in a neighboring community possibly but yeah there it is a, a celebration a party uh, having a really good time here you're going to meet somebody um, but I feel as though it's an energy of making doing what's right for you I see this Libra energy making solid decisions Staying in your empress energy, valuing yourself, loving yourself first, taking care of you first, first and foremost. Yeah, because uh, you're this is that when you come up as that energy, this is where you're being sensible about who you invest in. You're more invested in money and yourself right now and planning for the future. So I do think there's somebody who's waiting for an opportunity. There's somebody who's kind of waiting. I think someone's waiting for an opportunity with you. So but just be a little careful of third parties. But I do see love here. I do see some kind of um, emotional connection of some sort. But, you know, I think it's going to be a bit of a transition. Some kind of time is going to go by here. You're moving away from chaos, conflict, competition. You're not competing for anyone's attention. Um, definitely not with that Empress energy. Yeah, so you've got someone who wants everything their way, the highway. So that's what you're distancing yourself from. But you're waiting for an emperor. You're waiting for someone who knows what they want. But I feel until then, you're just doing you. Focused on creative pursuits, work, planning for the future. You're invested in you. And I love that energy. You're just... You're working while you're patiently waiting for the right person. Someone who's just right. And you want commitment or marriage or you're not interested. You'd rather be single. Uh, I can feel that energy too. So... <laughs> Not really. Uh, you're not chasing it, that's for sure. I uh, think you're pretty happy doing your own thing. Single right now, too, you know. Uh, some of you, anyway. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Yeah, so it's an energy of releasing and healing, letting things go, clearing things out, seeing things from a different perspective. So I feel as though it's just an energy of some of you have gone through a healing. And I feel like you're much happier feeling emotionally fulfilled just doing your own thing it's just staying busy with work is what i feel yeah i see being very busy um focus on money and career you have a communication coming in though you got a couple people around you so you're getting a little heads up to prepare being careful what it is you've manifested or who's manifesting you You're not budging. I don't see you budging unless you get what you want. You won't budge. You're not giving somebody uh, a piece of you. <laughs> not going to happen. You're just absolutely not moving here. Uh -uh. That's it. You're saying you are saving money too for something here. Holding on to your money. But you're definitely in protective mode. Wow. Yeah, see, there it is. You're leaving the past in the past, but you're ready for a leap of faith, but you're protecting yourself. So feel like any decision you make, it will be more of a calculated risk. Okay, you've taken risks in the past, and I don't think so. you're not you're not giving in. You're not budging. You won't take a risk with somebody here. Yeah, no. Nope. They need to express themselves. If somebody wants that, they need to come and express themselves. They need to start it. They need to put in the effort. They need to cooperate and compromise. It's an energy of building up, right? You do have someone, though. you got someone new here. Somebody responsible, reliable, looking for a partner. It should be interesting, Aries. Take care of yourself, okay? I feel like you're on a little bit of a path, a little bit of a journey. There's some kind of transition in the heart of the reading with the tower where you something ended and it's kind of created some sort of change but we have an emperor and an empress we have this emperor but like i say this is somebody who causes chaos and conflict there's a lot of competition now it's possible you've got someone who's looking to see if there's any competition trying to avoid you know uh, conflict or chaos it's possible but i'm telling you to just be cautious protect yourself okay don't give in to somebody don't be the one to take the risk let this other person take the risk 
<laughs> there you are. You will if you want. It'll be calculated. But I actually feel like you're just, you're just, you want someone who comes in right. Yeah, you got someone here who's not right for you. Something feels off and you know something is just off. And I feel like you're looking out for yourself. You're tempering your passions, your emotions. Uh, you're very balanced right now. You're so balanced. You're balancing things out in your life too. And I feel like you've got someone who comes in, causes chaos and conflict, or it's something that you've let go of. Uh, somebody who throws you off balance all the time. So that's where I feel is like you're, you're no longer taking these risks with that fool energy. You got a person here who doesn't want to look like a fool either. Um, they don't, you know, this is somebody who's kind of not budging too because they don't want to look like a fool uh, until they know you're completely single. So, yeah, you might have something good here. I do see new high vibrational energy, somebody high energy, very positive. All right, so just temper your passions and emotions is telling you to be patient. And I do see there's someone here where something isn't right. There's a lack of chemistry, something's off. Okay, so if it feels right, go for it. If it doesn't, you'll know. Okay, take care and we'll see you soon.